people and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sade and here you will be seeing lifestyle videos all about me, beauty, fashion, but today is a Q&A. Please ignore the background. I know it's not the best. I haven't made a YouTube video in a long time. I've gained a lot of followers and a lot of support on my Instagram. I create more videos like about myself so you guys can get to know my personality and get to know a little bit more about me behind all the fashion and reels. So the first question is, what is my name? My name is Sade. Some people pronounce it Shade, but it's Sade. The next question that someone asked is, how old am I? I am 24 years old. Um, I might look like a student, but I'm not. I'm grown. When did you start teaching and what inspired you to become an educator? Um, so I currently am not teaching right now. I'm doing tutoring. Um, but I started to, I started teaching in 2022. When I went to college, I majored in politics and African American studies. My goal was to become a lawyer, um, but plans didn't work out that way. Teaching was the first job offered to me after I graduated college, and so I just took it, and I started to like it. I teach special or taught special education, and so I was like, oh, I can do this again. And then I went from high school to middle school, so last year I taught middle school. But what inspired it was really it just being the first job offered to me. I never thought I'd be a teacher, but after giving it a try, I just really started to like it and become passionate about it. How do you balance your career as a model with your passion for teaching? It was quite hard at first um, because, you know, when it comes to social media and when you have students, you have to keep your personal life private to a certain degree. Different types of modeling that I like and so Mixing it with teaching was just kind of hard, but being able to um, mix like the fashion videos with like teacher fashion, I don't know how I was able to really come up with the idea, but once it connected, it just became easier to balance because I was able to like mesh the two together. What subjects do you teach? I teach ELA, so that is English Language Arts, basically reading and writing. Are you currently in a relationship? How do you balance basically your personal life with your professional life? I, I don't really put too much of my personal life on social media. Um, as far as people know, like I am in a relationship. I have a boyfriend. Um, I may post him, but he's not the mainstream of my posts. Most of my posts are my professional fashion modeling stuff. Um, I keep pictures up there just for people to know like, okay, she does have a boyfriend she is in a relationship but i pretty much keep my page mostly professional and geared towards like my niche which is fashion and beauty and honestly i just don't post too much like the most you'll see is his face you won't know about anything going on between us you won't know every date we go on you won't know our you know it's like parts of my life i keep like separate or i might post something in my close friends but everything isn't always posted on like my main page other than maybe a picture or two. What is your ethnic background? So I am African American. I am black. Um, my dad is Jamaican also. So I guess you could say Jamaican American, but I wasn't born in Jamaica. Um, my mom is biracial. So my granddad is white, but all in all, when it comes down to it, I am black. Do you have any tips for any models who want to pursue other career paths? Do you have any tips? for aspiring models. Starting to build your portfolio, I feel like it really starts there. Um, and just once you build your portfolio, you have something to show people like, hey, here's my talent, here's my work. If you don't have a portfolio, it's kind of hard to speak to like your talents and your um, skills, like you're posing, how long have you been modeling? So I would say start building a portfolio. I do offer modeling consultations. They are, there are different packages. Um, I think it's $25, $35, and $45. And um, yeah, so if you would like to book a modeling consultation, I would love to have an hour conversation with you about like tips and advice. But I would say if you don't want to book the consultation, then just starting by building your portfolio is very important. Have you ever faced any challenges or stereotypes as a model and an educator? Yes, I faced a lot of stereotypes as a model and educator. Um, so just to give people some background, I've been modeling since 2021. I became a teacher in 2022. So I was a model before I was a teacher. And um, I kept my page private for a while as far as like my modeling because I wanted it to be a separate career and try to keep them separate. 
this year was really the first year I kind of mix, mixed them together. But um, considering I was a model first, I just made sure to keep that at the forefront, like, because I've always been passionate about it. And some stereotypes that I received from people with me, like, advertising clothing and things like that and being a model for certain brands. People would say I'm attention-seeking. People would say I'm easy. People would call me names, B-word, or there's a certain level of professionalism that people expect you to have on social media when you're a teacher. Just because a woman is beautiful and has a shape does not mean that her attire is unprofessional. I think people place certain standards on women or expectations of women who are beautiful and have um, a shape, whether you have like a curvy butt, curvy hips. People expect you to not wear things that might hug your shape a little bit. As long as it's not too small, you're not wearing some extra tight on purpose and it's the right size for you. It's like people have something negative to say about that. So when I show up to work and wear the clothing that I wear that I advertise on Instagram, the principal sees me walking every day and it was professional, covered up from head to toe, no cleavage showing, no skin showing, no belly showing. Like, so people, I feel like just have something to this say. Someone says, what advice would you give someone who wants to follow like multiple passions at one time? Like at the end of the day, just do what makes you happy. Um, If a job doesn't agree, I would just say leave the job. Like I know it's easier said than done and I would definitely say make sure you have money stacked up. I feel like a job isn't aligning with your goals and you have multiple other things you want to do. Just chase your passion and really think critical and brainstorm like okay how can I mix these two together. Um, so for teaching and modeling it's like you wear clothes to work. Fashion is clothes and I'm a model and I can model the clothes so I can just show me in my teacher outfit. Um, so I don't know. You just got to really sit and think like, okay, how can I bring these two together? Hard work and dedication too. Working two career paths at one time is a lot and it's time consuming. So creating a routine for yourself really helps you like level out everything. For example, if you work a nine to five, but you also want to be a content creator, you got to put in that time and work to be a content creator. You can't just be putting out any type of videos or you know, poor quality or let me just get this out the way real quick. You have to actually be, take your time with it. Create a routine so that it's not brush work and it's great quality. That way when people see your work, they recognize and like, okay, I, I mess with that. I like that. But the other one says, what's your favorite food? My favorite food is spaghetti and tacos. I love me some spaghetti. I love me some tacos. But with ground turkey, I do not eat red meat at all whatsoever. What is your workout routine? My workout routine really is just boxing. I box every Friday. Just trying to make sure I eat healthy. So sea moss, taking my vitamins. Um, I don't eat red. The only meat I really eat is turkey for real. Um, chicken sometimes. But, you know, monitoring what I eat and then muscle building. So anything that's muscle building, whether it's um, a lot of squats, sit-ups, pulling weights down, pulling them up, whatever. Any type of muscle building, that's my workout routine. I can definitely have a Q&A part two in the next video. So let me know if you guys have any additional questions about me, anything you want to get to know about me. Yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.